Okay, today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting linear expressions. I'm going to show you two separate ways to do this. So I have x minus 4 plus a negative 2x plus 1. The first method is to stack them. So I have x minus 4 and I'm adding that to a negative 2x plus 1. So I'm going to combine the x's, combine the constants. x and a negative 2x. Remember, this is like 1x. There's that secret 1 hiding there. 1 and negative 2. 2 is bigger, so this is going to be negative 1x or negative x. Then, I'm going to treat this like a negative 4 and a positive 1. Negative 4 plus 1, the 4 is bigger. That would be negative 3. I can't combine the x and the 3 because they both don't have x's. So that would be my final answer. That's if you want to use the stacking method. If you want to use the grouping method, I look at the problem. I say x plus, because I have a plus sign here, negative 2x. So x plus negative 2x. Remember, this is like 1x. I see the 2 is larger. I get negative x. Then I'm going to also group my constants here. I'm going to treat this like a negative 4 plus, because there's a plus sign in the middle, a positive 1. Negative 4 plus 1, the 4 is larger, the negative team wins by 3. So negative 3, and I put this all together to get negative x minus 3. So that would be kind of your grouping method versus the stacking method. You can pick either method, just pick which one works better for you. So in our next question, 14t plus 8 plus negative 5t minus 9. If I'm stacking, I have 14t plus 8 plus negative 5t minus 9. If I'm grouping, I have 14t plus negative 5t, and then I would group that 8 plus, I'm going to treat that like a negative 9. 14t minus, or in a negative 5t, or even minus 5t, because that would be the same. 14t plus negative 5t, 14 is bigger, it's bigger by 9, so I have 9t. 8 and negative 9, the 9 is bigger by 1, so minus 1 or a negative 1. The same thing over here, 14t and negative 5 is 9, 8 and negative 5 is 9, 8 and negative 9 is a negative 1. So 9t minus 1 or 9t plus a negative 1. You will see some questions like this about finding um, the perimeter of the triangle in simplest form. To find perimeter of any closed shape, remember we can just add all the sides. So I can take that 2x plus 9, combine it with the 5x and the 3x minus 3. I'm going to find all my x's, 2x's plus 5x's plus 3x's, that's 10x's. Positive 9, subtracting 3, if I'm adding 9 and subtracting 3, 9 minus 3 be 6, so I have 10x plus 6. You will see the question also says find the perimeter if the value of x is 5. Well now that I have it simplified, I can plug in 5. 10 times 5 is 50, plus 6 means our perimeter would be 56 centimeters. Okay, we are also going to practice subtraction, which is a little bit different if you're doing the stacking method. Okay, because now I have a subtraction sign here in the middle. So when I stack 6x plus 3, 2x plus 2, and I'm subtracting everything in that entire row. A lot of students find it very helpful to basically add the opposite of everything. So make this plus a negative 2x and a negative 2 to make sure they don't lose that they're subtracting here. So I have 6x plus a negative 2x or 6x minus 2x, which is 4x. 3 plus a negative 2, 3 plus negative 2, well 3 is bigger by 1, 
so 4x plus 1. Now, if you like the grouping, you just have to be careful to make sure you show it subtracting. So we have 6x minus 2x. Then we have 3 minus 2. Because we're using that subtraction sign in the middle for both of them. 6x minus 2x is 4x. 3 minus 2 is a positive 1, so we know it's a plus sign in the middle because it's a positive 1. Okay, so again, you pick the method that works best for you. Okay, I have 2x minus 3 minus x minus 2. If I stack it, 2x minus 3 minus x minus 2. Now, if I add up because I stacked them, this becomes plus a negative x and a positive 2. I distribute, I did the add op for the whole row. 2x plus a negative x is going to be 1x or x. Because remember, this is, there's that secret hiding 1 here. 2 and negative 1. Negative 3, you're subtracting 3 and adding 2. 3 is larger. It has that subtraction or negative. It's 1 larger, so x minus 1. Now, if you're grouping, I have 2x minus x, 2x minus 1x. So I have two x-boxes, and I take away an x-box. I have one x-box left. Keep that sign with the 3. If I'm subtracting 3 minus a negative 2, see that minus a negative? That's where we would also have to add up on this question. Make it plus a positive. Negative 3 plus 2, different signs subtract, the negative team wins, 3 is larger, and it wins by 1. So I got x minus 1, because it was a negative 1, that's where I got the subtraction sign from. At any point, pause and rewind if you have questions. Okay, we're just going to do these first two questions here. I want you to pause and try the first two on your own. Okay, negative 2x minus 4 minus 2x. Okay, if you don't like this space here, you can put plus 0 if you want. Negative 2x, negative 2x, negative 4x, same signs add because I see the subtraction sign in front of both, negative sign. If I'm subtracting 4 but adding 0, that means I'm subtracting 4. If I group that, I'd have negative 2x minus 2x. And then the negative 4, I get negative 4x minus 4. 3x minus 2 minus 5x minus 4. I'm going to distribute that negative because I have that second term there too. So I can come with plus negative 5x positive 4. 3x and negative 5x. The 5 is bigger, so the negative team wins by 2. So negative 2x, negative 2 plus 4, the 4 is bigger because they're different signs. 4 is bigger by 2. Since it's a positive 2, we put a plus sign here. If you're grouping, you have 3x minus 5x and negative 2 minus a negative 4. If you add up here, you get that plus a negative 5x to so see that that 5 is bigger. Negative 2x, I'm going to add up here. Negative 2 plus 4, 4 is larger by 2, it's a positive 2, negative 2x plus 2. I hope that helps refer back to these examples as you work on your homework.